subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. But Mr. Trump would say that I came to power promising that I will pull America out of everything. His idea of making America great again was not to make America great again globally. It was to make America great again as an island. Mm -hmm. There's some, some truth to your analysis there. Well, more than some truth. Uh, and I think it was fundamentally flawed on his part. The idea that America can be great as if it were an island is fundamentally at odds with the reality of living in a global world. We've learned the hard way on 9-11 and that what begins in Afghanistan doesn't stay in Afghanistan. Right. Now what begins in Wuhan doesn't stay in Wuhan. We learn every day, uh, we see the effects of climate change. What comes from everywhere goes, every, uh, goes everywhere. So the idea that you could have this uh, America first approach that would ignore developments in the world and that somehow we could thrive, I think it's just dead wrong. Uh, you know, these, I, always, I always remind people that the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans are not moats. They are easily, uh, easily crossed. So I think, I think the idea that uh, you could have America first be America alone is simply a flawed understanding of the world. But again, it's in the tradition of the United States. We've had other eras of isolationism. And D. Shanker, when you take a step back and you look at the last, what, 70 or so years, 75 years since World War II, that's the exception. What we're li The post-World War II era of American leadership in the world, that's actually the exception in American history. Much more familiar is the United States essentially retreating and pulling back from the world.